This little guy is about to take a ride through cyberspace, and that's because about a month ago, I minted a Polygon NFT in his likeness on the OpenSea NFT marketplace. And today, we're gonna unleash him on the wild, and in the process, show you how to buy, sell, make bids and offers on OpenSea. Let's get started. I would never sell you. And just a few housekeeping items before getting into it. In this tutorial, we're going to be using the OpenSea Marketplace. In particular, this NFT is going to reside on the Polygon network. And although it won't cost us anything in gas fees in order to list our NFT, it will cost the purchaser, obviously, ETH, in order to acquire our NFT. And we're gonna show both sides of that transaction. And real quick, unlike Ethereum, there's no gas limit on showing your appreciation. So if you're learning something new in this video, then please go ahead and hit that like button. Thanks. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is go over to OpenSea.io and we're going to log into our account by connecting MetaMask. So I just come over to log in and I'm gonna select MetaMask and then I'm gonna enter my password into the Chrome extension here. Okay, so now we are in our OpenSea account and you can see all of our assets. And the one we're gonna sell is this guy right here, but I'm gonna sell it to myself so I will still be in possession of it. And there's different ways that we can do this. So currently it's just residing in my OpenSea account in one of my collections. And what we're gonna do is go over to sell. Okay, and then we're gonna throw a price in here. Okay, so we're gonna do $6.99. And then for the duration that we want this to be listed for, we can choose one of these quick times or we can choose a custom window. I'm gonna do seven days. And then you can also reserve selling it to a particular buyer. And the way that works is you just put their public Ethereum wallet address into this field here, and it will only allow you to sell it to that person. And then, so listing is free. Once sold, the following fees will be deducted and we can go ahead and complete our listing. So one thing to note is there's no way to auction this NFT because it's an ERC 1155 and OpenSea doesn't support auctions for these. And I think that's because they're semi-fungible, not entirely non-fungible. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and list this. Okay, so our NFT is listed. This looks good. So now we need to buy it from another account. So I'm going to log out of here and log into another OpenSea account that I have. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is create a new account and then we're gonna call this, okay. And then I'm gonna connect with the new account. Okay, so now I am on the new account and you can see that I have no assets available to me, but what I wanna do is purchase Mr. Whittles. So I'm gonna go look for that in the public explorer and here he is, and I'm gonna click into it. Okay, so you can see there's different ways to pay for this, and it looks like you can actually pay with traditional credit card, debit card. You can also pay with a wallet that has Ethereum in it, and then you can also make a custom offer to the person if you want. I wanna pay using ETH. So I'm gonna do buy now, and it says you don't have enough funds to complete the purchase. Please deposit or convert your funds. So let's get some ETH into my wallet. So the way I'm gonna do that is use Coinbase to convert some existing crypto I have to ETH. So I'm gonna convert $20 of Stellar Lumens into Ethereum, and I think that will be enough to cover this, but let's see. Okay, let's check here. Okay, so now you can see I have about $20 in Ethereum, and I wanna send this to my MetaMask wallet. So we are going to do send all, and we're gonna send it to here. Okay, so it's been like three minutes, and we can see that the funds have arrived, and I sent the Coinbase ETH to this address here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and purchase Mr. Whittles. So let's go search for him again. Okay, so I guess we need to get the ETH onto Polygon. So here are my funds here, and I'm gonna click bridge to Polygon. Okay, so part of the process of buying Mr. Whittles was I had to bridge my ETH to Polygon, and that is still pending. I'm gonna come back when that's ready. Okay, so I think our bridge is complete because now we can see we have ETH in Polygon flavor. That took about 10 minutes. I'm gonna come back over here, and it should pick up where we left off. 
Yeah, so all I have to do now is sign the message. Okay, so we just purchased Mr. Whittles for almost $7 and we can view it on Explorer. Okay, so now we can see Mr. Whittles is in our new wallet and that's all available here. Let's see, so nothing's changed about it. And then I could go ahead and sell it if I so choose. And this would be the transaction for the sale from Refactored. And we could find that on the Explorer if we wanted. And what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna send it back to my other profile. So I'm gonna do transfer and we're gonna send it right back to my main OpenSea account. So that transfer was free and it's just gonna go back to the same wallet that it came from because that's my main account. So I wanna keep it in that collection. So now if I go to profile, so it says it's still there, but once it gets validated, it will be gone. Okay, so now you can see Mr. Whittles is gone from here. So if I actually change my account, we're gonna go back to this account and there he is. So he's back back with his original owner. So I sold it to this address and then this address sent it right back here and you can view that over here. If you like this video, then you're gonna love my video showing how to create, sell and transfer Polygon NFTs on OpenSea.io. And you can check out that video right below.